What's up guys? Today's video was filmed like four months ago and showed how I made this. What's that for you wonder? What's that for you may ask? What pray tell is this for? What do I use this for? What is that? Well, quite simply, it is a thing I made. Mm. <laughs> this is a mask. It protects from the styrofoam because styrofoam sucks. Boom. Now it looks like I kidnapped someone. Then you put this thing on it. You're a wizard, Harry. And boom. Now it looks like the person that did the kidnapping. So if you want to see how this was made, stay tuned. Go to this time. But there is a little like hike thing beforehand, which is really cool, I think. Um, and by really cool, I mean like there's like these coyotes that were in it. Because it was filmed like four months ago. My hair is not nearly as hippie-ish. Yeah, sorry. Um, but I do start it with me right after the shower, so it, my hair looks just as bad in that part as it does now. So check it out. Woo! Did that work? No, it didn't. All right, it's gonna be super cold where we're going to catch the sunrise. So we gotta get warmed up. All right, got a beanie. Got my other pants. I'm already running late. So here's the deal. Our sunrise is at 7.47, which means we gotta get there about 7.20 to get everything set up. I forgot my headlamp, and it's like pitch black outside, but if I can teach you one thing, always be prepared. Do it next time. All right, we're officially running because the sun is coming up. I know you can't see me because I'm just still wet. Uh, there's my guy. We get from way down there. We're gonna make it up to that top right there, right there, and then get in six time left. All right, peace out. I'm not sure if you can hear that, guys. But those are coyotes. Back to the mission. Of course, battery, even though I charged it, says it's dead. Quick switch out. Like I said, guys, always be prepared. Always be prepared. We're golden. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Always be prepared. All right, so we made it back to the car. We were all the way up there at the very top of that for that sick shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're looking for some plaster. I think we're in the right spot, because we're at Lowe's. Spackling, I mean, we're close. Look at that. Oh, there. Oh, what did... I hit a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> Cut the tape. Real, actual damage. We'll get that one. It's like fiber tape, fiber tape. That's definitely our tape. That's our tape. That's our... Wait, self-adhesive, what is that? We need it to be a plaster adhesive. We, we don't know I what think, we're doing. I think what we just determined is we don't have a clue what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're making this life cast, right? With plaster. Oh! Okay. No! Oh, my bad. Ah! And I opened it up to see this bag, and it says says warning injurious to eyes good thing we're putting this on my face causes skin burns may cause 
eye, skin, or respiratory irritation. I think we might have got the wrong stuff. <laughs> so, we didn't do our research properly. More so, I didn't do my research properly because this was my idea. I had no idea what was happening. So, we were going to make a casting of my head and shoulders. That way, whenever I'm not using my wetsuit hood, I can just put it on that cast, right? Mm -hmm. I opened it up. I look on the back to see how to make this stuff, right? All that, that is all warnings and proper ways to help yourself out if you get it on your skin, in your eyes, or if you inhale it. Well, that's awesome because that's everything that we're gonna be doing. Do not attempt to make a cast enclosing any part of the body using this material. That's what we're gonna do. Failure to follow these instructions may cause severe burns and may require surgical removal of affected tissues. Instead of doing a live casting of me, as in my head, I'm gonna do it with this guy's head. We're gonna add some shoulders in with a tin foil. So we're gonna use tin foil. So that we can yeah. to make shoulders. We're still gonna do this with this plaster, but this time we're not touching them. So that's what it looks like right now. It's going pretty good. It's a good thing we didn't do it on my skin because it's eating through our gloves. If we did it on my skin right now, an hour later, I would be in the ER. And I would be vlogging from the ER waiting room. Lesson to be taught to everyone. Don't use plaster repairs on your skin. Day two of the... I knew you were gonna do that. Okay. Day two of the molding project since then it has gotten real nice and toasty hard now what we're gonna do we're going to be filling in freddy we just didn't use the strips right here and that stuff cracked right off so luckily we have some strips from the other night while i'm pouring in the plaster put like a you know strips like inside of it to kind of add some structure oh here's our setup also we got uh Freddy sitting upside down, supported by these wooden beams that go between two chairs. And his head is propped up on a pillow with a tarp to protect the pillow. You're about to witness the sanctification process of Freddy. So we poured in a double dosage and it barely filled anything. Officially have it build up about as much as we're gonna get. We were making the outside. We used probably about that much, right? The rest was all to fill it. <laughs> Just filling this up. We did have one incident where I got it in my eyeball. Oh gosh. Yeah, I was pouring it and it splashed up around right my eyeball. Just rinsed out for a couple minutes. So now we let it dry. Day three! So it's day three. Now it's time to cut good old Frederick out of his cast. So we need a couple tools for that. <laughs> So I think we're all set up now. We got plenty of stuff. We got stuff that I might not need. Some would say it's excessive. I would say always be prepared. Welcome back to my channel where safety is number one priority. It's freaking loud. So I think the idea is I'm just gonna slice them right along the shoulders. So it'll be like in half, like a front. <laughs>
I've done a lot of sanding with the angle grinder and it's about as good as I'm gonna get it with this. You can see, it's honestly pretty smooth, not too bad. Um, but now we're going for the belt sander. That'll be more fine detail, even though it's not, it'll be a lot better than the grinder. It's always got to be complications. That's great. Yeah, really see how bad it is. Figured out to make the bottom flat concrete as sandpaper. That's how it's done. All this junk up. Okay guys, that's all for today's video. My allergies are destroying me right now, so don't judge about this, okay? I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a little bit of a more modern style, and I really like that. So maybe I'll be doing more of that style in the future, I'm not sure. But what I can tell you is that tomorrow I will be posting, yes, a first in my Brandon Wusso YouTube channel history. Posting back-to-back -back videos. Um, and it's not going to be this style. It's going to be one that you've seen before. Uh, hint, hint. <coughs> and if you like this video, <laughs> like and subscribe, man, if you want. Alright, guys, I'll see you next time. Later. Peace out. I don't know. So, yeah, cool. <laughs>